Greetings fellow witchers, Fayot here, bringing to you a guide covering the basics of combat in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, combat in the Witcher 3 heavily revolves around dodging, avoiding enemies attacks and counterattacking when the time is right. To do that, Geralt has two very specific tools at his disposal that might seem similar to the untrained eye but are nothing bad. It's backstepping and rolling towards the enemy and out of danger as you can see here. What they do in the same manner is that they move you in the environment giving you the upper hand when swarmed by enemies or when you want to approach an enemy to deal damage. But roll specifically allows you to cover a respectable distance to place yourself at optimal distance from the enemy but does not help you avoid damage that much. Whilst you're mid-roll the enemy can damage you and when they touch you mid-roll it will really really hurt. So it's not advised to just start rolling without consent when you deem you're in a tight spot. The tool that should be utilized in these cases is actually the backstep. Whilst backstepping an enemy, you actually gain a couple of invulnerability frames. That means that even if an attack would normally seem to hit you, whilst you're backstepping, you are not going to take damage. Of course, the time uh, window that you get, the timing is very, very strict. So you will have to train on smaller enemies before you try to dodge an attack by a stronger one that might kill you if it actually connects. So it goes without question that being able to dodge the enemy is essential in order to survive their attacks and live to counterattack and damage them in return. Another very important aspect is the actual hitbox of every swing that you can do with your sword. As you can see here, I was attacking the enemy right in front of me, the one I was locked on, but the enemy that tried to flank me from the left took damage in the process without me needing to launch an extra attack to damage him. So, positioning yourself at the optimal position in order to face as many enemies at the same time without being in danger or getting counter is very, very important, especially when you try to play in the higher difficulty settings. It goes without saying that during your adventures you will face combat scenarios where your level is not appropriate, that you will be weaker than expected or just the enemy numbers will be that large that you will force you to adapt your techniques and find ways to isolate enemies and take them out one by one. As you can see here, I go directly to the left as soon as I enter this arena of sorts. And I see that I'm swarmed by enemies from the get-go. I take an arrow here, so I realize that my priority should be the Arbalest back here. Arbalests in The Witch 3 are very dangerous when you're swarmed by enemies because they can just keep dealing damage, considerable amounts of damage at that, without really being afraid of getting counterattacked. So you should always prioritize your targets according to the situation at hand. No, please note that on the highest difficulty settings, if you're starting at that from the get-go, they will usually try to block two or three attacks, but if you press on, they will falter eventually and you will be able to land the killing blow and take them out. Another thing you should note is the enemy level. If you spot a particularly strong enemy, like I am level 2 here and the enemy is level 5 that I'll have to face, it's usually a good technique to take out the small fries first so you can focus on the most dangerous opponent later on when you will not be swarmed. Try to analyze the enemy's pattern and see what works and what doesn't. Enemies with big weapons, such as this axe here, will block your attacks after you hit once or twice and then try to retaliate, in which case you will be forced to evade and will be pushed into the defensive stance. So just wait for your stamina to regenerate and utilize signs to take them off balance and give yourself an opening to deal damage in return. Do not underestimate the power of your signs, especially the Kuen, but we will get to that in another video explaining the intricacies of sign uses more in depth. 
Many games claim that utilizing your environment to your advantage is very very important, but it's never been as true as in The Witcher 3. Here you can see me lighting a barrel up and just luring the enemies close enough so they get blasted and destroyed without me needing to lift a finger. A very practical technique if you're against big swarms of enemies. It's of the utmost importance to pay attention to your surroundings. In these swampy areas there are pockets of gas that will poison me if I get near them and cause damage over time. I would really not want to go in there and have to force myself to dodge once or twice more than needed in order to just avoid an environmental hazard that I could very well avoid altogether and not have to deal with. Also, when you're against enemies such as the Drowners that you can see here, always have the Q and sign on. If you take a glancing blow and you don't have to get, to get through the stagger process, you can counterattack them and see they, have, they seem to have small health pools, you can take them out and start picking them off one by one before their bodies can gather up around you and cause considerable damage. Also note that monsters like this are very very hard to block since they will stagger you and swarm on you after a successful stagger. This concludes my guides for the basics of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt combat. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share if you enjoyed this and always visit Fextra Life for all the info you might need on the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I will be back soon, until then, be well, stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers!